ladies and gentlemen, we're not seeing things. That is Stone Cold Steve Austin, the greatest superstar possibly of all time and definitely the biggest name from the Attitude Era. And of course, this is WWE Battleground, where lines are drawn and the, the battle for championship will be on the line here. It's all about the war. The war between two factions. Right here, we got the war between two of the top superstars in the whole entire wrestling industry. It's Stone Cold versus, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Brock Lesnar? I'm scared. On Monday Night Raw, Stone Cold came out after Lesnar's match with AJ Styles. They just attacked him for no damn reason. He hit him with his own damn F5. That's never happened to Lesnar before. The first time confrontation between the Beast and the Texas Rattlesnake. You, this is absolutely crazy, and what a way to kick off this major pay-per-view. Suplex City has come to battleground. How will Stone Cold survive? Here we go. Possibly the biggest matchup in WWE history and Stone Cold with the first strike. A neck breaker. Will Stone Cold be able to keep up with the speed and strength of Lesnar? Lesnar is a fully fit superstar. He is an MMA professional fighter. He's a former UFC heavyweight champion. He's a former WWE Universe Champion here in Hashtag Universe Live. Not on the line here tonight as our main event is a six-man tag team match between the Omega Club. We'll be here tonight to face the Shield for the first time ever in Hashtag Universe Live. This is absolutely craziness. We are putting on possibly the biggest and the stunner. He keeps it pretty simple, but then again, oh, and a clothesline takes down the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar, of course, uh, Brock is here alone. He doesn't need no manager because he's the best. And he's about to get hit, and he does. Stone cold, stone cold, stone cold. Brocky on the ropes is Lesnar and gets dumped to the outside. I really hope this one ends clean, but uh, it's not up to me. It's up to these two gentlemen, and I, I don't think they'll mind fighting a little bit dirty here. He's not afraid of any man. Oh, God. And there's the devastating lariat there's the power of brock the beast lesnar and they got back in the ring just before the count of 10 as stone cold uses those ropes as a weapon he is a smart veteran and he knows what to do against the top level superstars like brock lesnar remember the wars that stone cold has had with the likes of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Eddie Guerrero, and John Cena. And now over the ropes goes Lesnar Stunner with the rope. And back outside they go. I really want this one to end clean in the ring. But I think Stone Cold has some other plans here tonight. As he drops the elbow across the face of Lesnar, of Stone Cold. Those knees are braced up for a reason. Stone Cold has been through some wars. Whips him into the ropes. And oh, ducks under the clothesline and a straight fist to the face as Austin is not too far behind. He's not a step behind here tonight. He's trying to keep toe to toe. Oh, and Lesnar with the speedy roll, but it doesn't matter because Austin is gonna drive his face again into the corner. And Lesnar hasn't actually hit a single one here tonight. Luthes press and the rattlesnake strikes again. Austin is on top right now, looking for the stunner. This one could be over. So cold stunner. The biggest move on the biggest man and the cover of this one might be done. Two and no. Lesnar kicked out at two and a half. Just manages to get that big shoulder up. Uh, Lesnar definitely has a lot of endurance. But that's not the case as Lesnar now hits another suplex, but not a German. Bending the leg of Austin and those injured knees. And uh, the ref told him to let go, I think. Still. And another suplex. Fisherman style. This is a little bit different than what we see, but then again, it's still a suplex, so it doesn't matter. Again, to the leg. So smart of Lesnar to focus on these body parts. And I think we're going to see another straight suplex with the power. But no, Austin's not giving up. A reversal into a clothesline, being the biggest and being the best of all time. And here comes the Germans. There was one and another, and he keeps holding on. Austin's going over! Oh my god, the third suplex. And usually he follows that up with the F5. Will we see it here tonight? No! Arm drag by Austin. Austin with another Luthes press and furious strikes. I think Lesnar might be busted open. 
cut above the eye. Uh, this is not how I thought this would go, to be honest with you. Oh! Stunner got countered as he pushed him off too strong. Too strong for Austin. And going straight to that wrestling tactic. What Lesnar needs to do. Dragon Sleeper pulling on the neck of Austin. But, oh, getting kneed right into the bloody forehead. And Austin looking to end it. And the stunner. One, two, and he does it. Stone Cold brought the fight to Brock Lesnar and pulled off a huge victory here tonight. They fought all over this arena. But it ended with a second stunner. A stone Cold stunning WWE Battleground continues as we have the United States Championship on the line as Jack Swagger just slammed down the champion Damian Sandow. Uh, Sandow always innovative and always educating. And now with a quick cover, this one not over that early. You got to do a lot more to keep down the superstar. But he does. He's so smart and a running neck breaker. He's one moves with that. Oh. And a belly to the back of his own. And now look at this. He's just spinning around on the back of Swagger. And adding insult to injury with that slap to the back of the head. And now Sandow's going to knock him down with the spear. And the superstars are taking the match outside. And a spinning discus punch to the face of Jack Swagger. Sandow, uh, ever so resourceful with all kinds of moves. And a suplex belly to belly overhead toss by Jack Swagger, the all-American American, who follows up by punching his opponent right in the face. And he wants that United States Championship so he can be the real American American, if you know what I'm saying. And another scoop slam to Sandow as he holds the back. Imagine the pain that Sandow was feeling right there. The strength of Jack Swagger. And, oh, innovative jaw breaker there by the champion. His challenger with another discus punch this time in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, hashtag Universe Live is underway. United States Championship on the line into the ropes and another awkward collision. And this is where all our matches have been going. Oh, suplex countered by Swagger. And he just pushes him right into the hardest part of the ring, which is the apron. Don't you forget it, Michael Cole. And stomping on the leg and the knee again of Sandow, who's holding it in pain. You know, you have those knee pads, but they don't offer too much protection against this kind of assault. And Swagger, so relentless, doing it a fourth time. Swagger going to the leg again. So smart. We know that's his strategy. Yes, yes. This is the signature. We, the people, with the swagger bomb right to the chest of the champion. And he's down. He could pin him right there. He could have won right there. But he wanted to do something else. He's got something else in mind. And just straight down he goes. Is in big trouble with a power slam down to the mat he goes. Swagger bomb. Cut wrench. Power bomb. He hits it. This one's over. Sandow's not going to kick out. There's no way. One, two. Oh, my goodness. We almost had a new United States champion. Going for another power bomb. But this time, no. He's going for the swirly. Oh, and Sandow got flushed in the corner as he went straight in. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. And Swagger's going to slam him. But no, this time he counters with a back suplex. And Sandow's on top. And another over the head suplex as this match continues. We had to uh, edit some stuff out because it's YouTube. And we're, you know, short on time. We can't just run this pay-per-view forever. This match has been going on for a while. Swagger was working on the leg until Sandow countered him. But now Swagger is back on top with a couple big moves. Samoa drop! Oh my god, Sandow! All the way down. Oh, he's got to be done. One, two. No. How the hell did Sandow kick out of that? Damien is in uh, some trouble. That's all I got to say there. And Swagger just trying to stay on top. Anything he can do, stomping on him. Smacking him in the face in the corner. Are we gonna see the splash again? Yes, we are. We the people. Come on, ref, count faster. One, two, new champion, United States. Jack SmackDown Swagger. Tag Team Championship on the line as Gold Show once again faces the Big Brothers. Braun Strowman 
And of course, the legendary Immortal Hulk. Fortunately, uh, Big Show and Goldust lost their championships at the last pay-per-view and have a chance to regain the gold, if you will. No pun intended, as the strength of the monster among men is shown off right here. You know, he's a veteran. He's been around in this wrestling industry for what seems to be forever. Tag the Big Show. And he knows Big Show really well. He knows, you know, brought Big Show into this business and taught him a lot. Now Big Show with the strength and a huge backbreaker to Braun Strowman. These two monsters have been in all kinds of wars because, don't forget, everything is canon here in Hashtag Universe Live. And I hope you're watching at home. I hope you're enjoying the show. Tag Team Championship on the line and a huge sidewalk slam from the biggest man in sports entertainment the world's largest athlete the big show seven foot tall almost 400 pounds now he's lost a lot of weight he's gotten in shape i am a real american getting military press slammed oh he got dropped behind by big show who's gonna hit him with the weapon of mass destruction and hulk hogan might be knocked out but no big show picks him back up tag got reversed and now hogan Gonna whip him all the way into his own corner. Big brothers, what you gonna do when Strowman runs wild on you? And he, oh, hit him right in the elbow. Big move from the big man. He's gonna drop him right on the ropes. Caught up on the top. Is underway, and Strowman, oh, just stepping right on Goldust like an insect punch to the face and now a shin breaker to do bigger things i guess that's how it works and a neck breaker <sighs> with the little gold dust taunt big show could hit the choke slam here tonight but uh, oh my gosh a running shoulder braun Strowman and hogan who gets tagged in uh oh uh oh both men no football tackle watch out big show oh Double shoulder. I'm going absolutely crazy on commentary. And the big boot. Boo. By what you're going to do. Good night, Hollywood. Oh, my goodness. And he might be knocked out. One. Two. Strowman not in time. Yes, he was. The immortal one is in trouble. He's been punched. And he doesn't know where he is. He's seeing Hollywood stars. Tag to gold dust. What's it going to be from the team that wants to be champions? Oh. Atomic drop. Oh, up by the big boot. Can he get the hot tag? No, he doesn't. Strowman still not legal. But wait a minute. Hogan pushed him off with the kick. Somehow they have turned this around. I can't believe that Hogan still knows where he is. He's still able to do wrestling moves. I think it might all be on instinct, honestly, at this point. When you get punched by the big show three times and you're still wrestling, I think you're just, you know, you might be unconscious. Hogan is bleeding. It got busted open by the turnbuckle. And... Gold Show is in control. This Big Show with the Cobra Clutch. Look at this. Look at the strength of Big Show. Just tossing the 300-pound Hogan over his head. Hashtag Universe Live continues as SmackDown Tag Team Championships are on the line and Big Show diving. You don't see that very often, but Big Show knows that this is his opportunity. So he's going up again. Look at Big Show flying again. Wow. Gold Show. Look at this double final cut. Yes, they hit it. It's over. Strowman, you got to get in there. One, two, three new champions. Again, two times. Gold Show gets the gold back here tonight at Battleground. They are once again SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yes. And now for the Intercontinental Championship. AJ faces Jason Jordan, who's been so impressive on Raw as of late. Week in and week out, getting huge wins on Raw. And that's how he earned the spot. And now AJ Styles has to find a way to defend here tonight. Elbow to the back of the phenomenal one who's sporting some new uh, gear, a new attire here tonight for the pay-per-view, trying to make it look special. That's what AJ does. He goes the extra mile where other superstars won't, and we know what he's capable of. He's phenomenal. Catches Styles and going for a drop kick. Usually that's what Styles likes to do. And the combo, spinning back fist, and now a clothesline. Almost took the head 
right off of Jason Jordan and AJ Styles. Very comfortable in a high-flying scenario. Here he goes, high-risk department. Whoa! Spiral tap. I haven't seen that in ages. I haven't seen that in a long time. And he pulled it off right here for the pay-per-view. He knows that his title is on the line and he wants to defend it. AJ Styles, so impressive. He's like one of the best wrestlers, I would say, pound for pound. I mean, he can do everything. And that's what he does right there. That's vintage AJ Styles. That's what I was talking about. That rebound drop kick. And now the knee. Shades of Ric Flair. Another great inter intercontinental champion, by the way. Uh, Ric Flair. <laughs> he didn't get drafted at the beginning of the season, but everything is canon here in Hashtag Universe Live. Gonna suplex. Oh! That was like a brain buster there, actually. Dropped him right on his head. Going for the win here. But Jason Jordan says no. He wants to be champion. He wants to impress his father, Kurt Angle, who uh, didn't get a match tonight. Intercontinental champion going for a tornado. Whoa! What the hell was that? I thought it was going to be a DDT, but he turned it around for a 50 splash. And that's why he did it. He used the ropes as a weapon. So innovative. That's why they call him the phenomenal one. And here we go, whirling neckbreaker, knee to the back of the head. Jason Jordan is now in some real trouble. Because that's usually the setup. Oh, but no! Of the champion, suplex. Keep it simple, kid. Do whatever you can. Get the biggest win of your career here tonight at Battleground. Wouldn't that be a story to tell? And elbows driving to the neck and shoulders of AJ Styles. Jinder Mahal, and now belly to belly by Jason Jordan. And I think he's got himself a chance. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. The audience is here supporting the show. Olympic slam! That's what he learned from his daddy. Angle, hurt angle. One, two, no champ! No. Oh my God. Somehow AJ Styles managed to kick out before the count of three. And Jason Jordan now frustrated goes to the outside. Needs, he needs some time to think here. Or, wait a minute, no, he's looking for a weapon. Is that a baseball bat? Don't do this, Jason Jordan. And he missed. Oh, and he hit him right in the face, but there's no DQ. It's a title match, and he hit him in the leg. Jason Jordan's playing dirty now. That's not okay. The crowd doesn't like it. You gotta win clean, kid. Not like this. Not like this. Picking up the dead carcass of AJ. Wait a minute, no! AJ Styles with the reversal suplex there. Jeez, is he gonna get the springboard? There's not much distance, but he hits it anyway. I don't know how he does it. He's AJ Styles. That's the only explanation. One, two, and Jason Jordan kicks out now. Both men hit their big moves. Another running knee. Oh, Jason Jordan is just laying on top of that baseball bat that could still come into play. Or he could land on it right here with the style. Oh, I thought he was going for the Styles Clash, but I think he's going for the Swirly. Flush him down. We've seen it once before tonight. Oh, into the turnbuckle goes Jason Jordan. Belly to belly over the head goes Styles. And now Jason Jordan took off the shoulders just like his daddy Kurt Angle. And that can only mean one thing. Spy Buster, this one's over. He grabbed the rope but let go. And he kicked out anyway, so it didn't matter. Look at this. Jason Jordan, just like his father, shoulders down. Oh, and he hits it. He hits it. He's going to become new Intercontinental Champion. One, two. Yes! He did it! <clears throat> With that modified neck breaker, Jason Jordan is your new Raw Intercontinental Champion. He just beat AJ Styles. I would love to say that it was completely fair and clean, but he used that baseball bat as a weapon. This is the true test for the night. Raw Women's Championship on the line, Molina versus since entering into this universe. Hashtag Universe Live. She He's held on to the title for months and months. And tonight, Alexa Bliss needs to do what every other superstar tonight has done. 
and win a championship. Oh, but that's the problem right there is Molina is so resourceful. A nice counter arm drag and now once again, but wait, counter this time by Alexa Bliss getting the edge on her opponent. And she's a goddess. Thank you, 2K Games, for that image in my head. And a push off. We've seen the United States champion change. We've seen the Intercontinental title change. We've seen new SmackDown Tag Team champions. Will we see a new women's champion here tonight in this match right now? Will we see it? I want to see it. Rubbing her face into the mat. Molina has no respect. Face of the women's division. And here's why. Molina kick. Oh my gosh, this one's over. Good night, everybody. This is why she's raw women's champion. Play out. Oh my God, Alexa just got laid. It's over. Using the ropes. Cheating. One, two. That's so unnecessary. But wait a minute. How the hell? Choke slam. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, Alexa Bliss. She's not built like a wrestler. Look at this. It's gonna sit right on her face. And now she's gonna pin her in the corner with the pose! So cocky is Molina, but still she couldn't pull off the victory there. In her sights, flawless! DDT! The goddess is about to make a change! Here tonight, is it over? No! <gasps> oh! Pulling her to the ropes, she's gonna cheat now. She's gonna cheat now! Oh my god, no! Not like this! Oh! <laughs> And now the mind games of these two superstars. What else could be at stake? And caught up on the road. Wait a minute. Melina back to her feet. The California Dream is fighting out here tonight. Insult the injury with the knees. Moonsault that she hits it again. The knees to the gut. But, uh oh, I think Melina is done here. If she hits another blissful PDT and she does that's it nobody kicks out of two not even the unbeaten champion thank you for watching two three every title tonight has changed including the women's championship new face of raw Alexa Bliss no you're not seeing a mistake this is what's actually happening it's Chris Jericho's Rematch against Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship, but it's a triple threat because Triple H has used his Money in the Bank Championship shot. This is it. He cashed in on this match right here. It became a triple threat. That's what happened, and that's what I'm sticking to. A uh, combo there by Shinsuke Nakamura, and Nakamura is now that of legend. And Triple H who's not even paying attention is just taunting for no reason. Jericho with a crown to the back of the head. And now Jericho could become champion right there with the German suplex. Remember, it doesn't matter if Nakamura gets pinned or submitted. I really, I, I gotta say that I'm pulling for Nakamura just for the sake of having a championship retained at least once here tonight. Backdrop by Triple H. Going after Jericho and a Triple H smash to the knee. <laughs> and facing the king of strong style Nakamura. I believe this is the first time they've ever faced each other in the ring. And here we go. Nakamura with the knee to the gut of Triple H using that leverage to his advantage. And this is what a true challenger does. Jericho going for a top rope. Hurricane and he hits it onto the champion and Triple H just told him to suck it. Look at this. Backflip by Jericho. There he goes. Ooh, punched in the mouth for it, though. Triple H working on the shoulder of Jericho. And look at this. Oh! Innovative offense by the Cerebral Assassin, who's cashed in here tonight and almost just became champion, but not even a one count there. He's trying to play the game, and this is how he chose to play it. It's, I feel like that's the first time ever that somebody's done this and Shinsuke missed a running knee. I'm not sure what happened there, but knee to the gut. Oh, and Jericho with a reversal. And now suck it! Triple H is taunting all over the place. Clothesline ducked under. How did Jericho see him? Over his head and around his waist with the superplex to Jericho. Shinsuke is still on his feet. Oh, soup. Superty duperty. <laughs> Snake eyes. Running bulldog. 
This match is out of control. I can't control myself. Commentary is out of control. Everything is out of control. Triple H kicks out of drunk commentary. Only on Twitch. Only on YouTube. Running! Call breaker! And that's how it ends! That's how Jericho became champion in the first place. One, two, money in the bank. It doesn't matter. Triple H kicked out. But Shinsuke says he's the real rock star. And he turns him inside out. And usually that sets up the Kinshasa. Who will he hit it with? Who will he hit it on? Oh, he's just going to drive the knees to the side of the head of Chris Jericho. One of his two challengers. He thought he would only be against one opponent. But now he's got the surprise of Triple H. And this is what Triple H does. He capitalizes in the moment. And then he buries everybody with that big shovel. Why? But Nakamura in time for the count. And now Nakamura wants to pin him. But Jericho was right there. So I'm not sure why he did that. Get shots out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Turning him inside out. Triple H is still down. This one's over. No. Oh, 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 whoa, baby. Jericho kicked out of a Kinshasa. Nakamura, first time in his career, getting hit by the pedigree. And he just buried the champion. And now Triple H has the chance. He's cashing in. Mr. Bunny and Link, will he be successful? Two. Yes. Triple H had a plan all along. Ever since the moment he carried that ladder at Money in the Bank pay-per-view, he had this plan. He knew that Jericho and Shinsuke would be too focused on each other during this match to worry about him. And one pedigree is all that mattered. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Universal Champion Seth Rollins. And you are not seeing anything wrong with your screen. This is actually happening. That is Dean Ambrose. That is Roman Reigns. This is The Shield for the first time in universe mode Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns come here to WWE Battleground the war dogs are ready for battle and we're going to have a huge six man tag team match for the first time in wrestling history it's the Shield versus the Omega Club the Bullet Club the boy the Hounds of Justice the Hounds of Justice have aligned forces once again to take out the biggest threat Omega Club Bullet Club it's Kenny Omega and the boys, the Young Bucks. They're here. They've been here for a couple weeks, and they think they're the top faction. They think they think that they are the top three guys, WWE. But uh, Seth Rollins and that Universal Championship have something else to say. Tonight has been absolutely crazy, guys. We've seen every title change hands for the first time ever. This is the first time ever main event. A six-man tag team match. And which way is it going to go? Is it going to be elite? Here we go. Seth Rollins and Kenny Omega starting this match off, continuing their feud. Suplex. Rollins with the kip up. That's how you start the match right there. Slow pace, but I think this match is going to get crazy pretty quickly as Kenny Omega hits that Northern Lights suplex move for move by these superstars. And the Shield wearing those padded bulletproof SWAT vests that they're so famous for. And uh, I'm not sure if it'll help them here tonight because the offense is going to be absolutely insane. We know what the Young Bucks are capable of. We know that Kenny Omega has some crazy moves and here comes one with the leg drop bulldog. <clears throat> Seth Rollins in trouble early and Alliance up! Shades of Jericho who hashtag Universe Live main event. This is what it all comes down to. This is the end all be all of Universe and a big boot by the big dog. Roman Reigns punch straight to the face. Kenny Omega first time ever these two superstars are meeting up and I'm not surprised by the way it's going right now Roman Reigns is so strong and he all he has to do is really hit you with a big punch and a spear and you're dead pretty much that's how it goes Kenny Omega ain't no slouch he thinks he's the greatest in the world and he's got something to prove here tonight as he clubs the back of Roman Reigns beating down the big dog this is where it all matters this is the big leads this is the main event this is the pay-per-view. This is Battleground, and that's a backdrop by Roman Reigns. Tilt the world, small package, no cover in the corner. They, they're not taking this seriously. They're taunting. They're dancing on the apron. Up against the ropes, ran right into a big Samoan badass. Over the head, belly to belly. Uh-oh, watch out, Roman. He's going to be in trouble. Hurrah, 
from the top and he got it. He's here, clothesline, taking down his opponent again, another. That power bomb that the Shield are so famous for. Or will we see more bang for your buck? Or even the Meltzer driver, which has made them famous along the lines of Reddit and a spear, pulling a move from Roman Reigns straight to the gut of Ambrose, that running spear. And now Ambrose in the corner of the Bullet Club. This is what we wanted to see, but no tag there. He's going to go for the Huracurana once again. They're just showing off now. Oh, my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. A super kick, I think he's aiming for it, and he does running right into the face as he kicks him. Ambrose is knocked out. The shield might lose right here. One, two, and Bullet Club with the huge victory out of nowhere off of a super kick. Bullet Club continues their streak as they haven't lost since coming here to Universe Live. Thank you so much for every the, everyone that joined and watched Battleground. Every title has changed hands except for the Universal Championship, which still belongs to Seth Rollins, but Dean Ambrose got kicked right in the face, and this one goes to the Elite, the Young Bucks, Omega Club, Bullet Club. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching.